I left this in here overnight and now look. Can you see? It's like a coffee slush. Delicious. This was about 20 minutes in and you can see I already have a lot of really great pieces in my cart and the reason for that is because we got here about five minutes after the thrift store opened and you can see me pointing at a bunch of the racks that are kind of in the middle of the store in like the main aisle. Those racks were filled with brand new inventory and so I looked at those first because those were you know racks that had been untouched and there's my husband looking through the men's section and finding some goodies. This was a really cool pair of shoes by Franco Sarto. I really liked these loafers with like the brocade exterior, but Franco Sarto doesn't sell that well for me and I think they had them priced at like $9.99, which was too high. This was a vintage blazer that I actually did put in my cart. You can tell it's vintage because it's got the little union tag and um, it was made in the USA. It was made of 100% wool. The brand was not anything that I was super familiar with, but when I looked it up, it wasn't really worth anything. Banana Republic is definitely a brand that I mentioned in my bread and butter brands video. And this is exactly the type of item that I said you should pick up. You know, it's like a nice wool coat. I think maybe there was, nope, no cashmere or anything just nylon but there was some pilling and it was an older style so I did go ahead and leave it behind and it was kind of expensive too and then you'll see this Talbot's jacket this is another brand that I mentioned in that video of top bread and butter brands to be on the lookout for they had it priced at $14.99 it was new with tags but again it was a little bit older of a style and I just wasn't confident that I'd be able to recoup very much of my money on that however I did pick up this bad boy I've never heard of the brand before but it was made of a hundred percent silk it was a really cool piece with like a safari animal print um, that bad boy went in my cart because I was smitten I had to have that you know what I'm hoping for right who is Ula Popkin <laughs> who is that um, they did have some really beautiful wedding dresses and just formal wear evening wear that wedding dress was priced really high though um, I did not get the wedding dress however I did find this beautiful dress coming up by the brand Eloquy um, this is a brand that is kind of hit or miss for me but I thought this was really pretty with all of the embroidered floral detail on the front it was priced at eight dollars which I thought was a pretty good price so in my cart it went with all of my other goodies y'all when I tell you that my job out hit the floor when I came across Across this brand Norma Kamali I have never found this brand before in my life and this was a beautiful dress in just such amazing shape I was so excited and that went in my cart these preppy little Ralph Lauren sport dresses actually do pretty well for me, but this one was priced a little too high at $7 for me to make a real profit. Here's me sorting and just kind of looking through the stuff that my husband found. So this is my husband's cart. You can see like some of the more graphic band t-shirts. Um, while if I were at the bins, I would pick them up. I left those behind just because they were priced a little bit too high. These are really cute new balances that we're gonna save for my son, although he can't use them right now. This was kind of a cool piece it was just like a Volkswagen pullover sweatshirt if you will um, I have another one that is kind of getting a decent amount of interest it's just a t-shirt but I thought that was cool this I loved because it was Harry Potter and so of course I had to have that he knows my love obviously for Harry Potter this next item he put in the cart because he's heard me talk a lot about Cosby sweaters or about like Kooji sweaters and he thought this was kind of similar to it However, the brand was nothing. It wasn't crazy enough of a print, I felt like, and it was made of 100% acrylic, so I did leave that one behind. This is another Harry Potter hoodie that you'll see later in the haul. Yes, there is a thrift haul at the end of the video, so make sure that you stay tuned. This pullover sweater was by Oscar de la Renta. I am no longer picking up their men's pieces because they just do not move, and when they do finally sell, they sell for so long little so he found a couple pairs of page jeans this particular pair like 95 percent of all page jeans you will find at the thrift had some puckering near the crotch um that's something that my husband has a hard time seeing when he's in the jean section but this next pair of oh no this was like a pair of 
I think they were in linen blend pants. I can't remember what the brand was now. Um, I did set it aside to look up comps, but comps were not very good. They were like in the $15 range. So we left those behind and I was kind of surprised because usually linen does pretty well. This I believe was another pair of page jeans that I'm holding in my hand. And these were a bit better. They didn't have any of the puckering. So I believe we did end up taking those home and you'll see them later in the haul. But yeah, every time you come across page jeans, men's or women just look really carefully. This was a North Face sweater. I believe it was like a quarter zip. It looked a lot like the better sweater from Patagonia, but I think they had it priced at like $8 again, and I just didn't think that there was enough room for me to make decent profit on that. This is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied jeans, which I love picking up. Adriano Goldschmied for men sells really, really well, but there's a flaw, and you'll see that later in the thrift haul. He also found some really great shoes, but I think those was I saying yes or no to I don't know what that brown pair was this was a pair of Clark's that I looked up comps for later and they ended up being pretty good typically I feel like I leave Clark's behind because they're priced too high for me to make any sort of profit but those I was like you know what those are gonna be worth it this next pair of boots um, is by a brand that I've never heard of before called GBX and you see me put those in the cart as well to check comps you know what I have in the front of that cart the shoes that I said no to were um, like Nike golf shoes they were in rough shape um, I think that those were a pair of Allen Edmonds that I put in the cart as a yes and these are some Cole Haan ankle booties that is it for the thrift with me portion let's get into the haul Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck All the Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I really hope you enjoyed thrifting with me. My husband and I had a really good time. The first thrift store that we went to, I didn't really get any footage, but I was able to get a few things. We had our kids with us, so that always makes it a little bit harder. My son did find this really ridiculous, like, I don't like a kid's pogo stick type thing. If I can get a picture of him on it, I'll show you right here. <laughs> But he found that for 99 cents and honestly, I guess that was a win for all of us because he's been on that thing nonstop ever since. But we found a handful of things there and then the second place we went to was at a Goodwill in my husband's parents' town since we were staying at their place for a night. Um, we got to go, you know, thrifting for a little bit, just my husband and I, which was really great. And we got to find some really great goodies. So I'm really excited to share with you some of like my typical bread and butter type stuff, but also some really exciting brands, some great bolos. So definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy thrift hauls and thrift with me videos, because I do these every once in a while on my reselling YouTube channel, as well as what solds. Like definitely check out what sold videos, because that's where you can see, does any of this stuff actually sell? <laughs> like, yes, I was able to pick up some things that I think are really cool, but what actually sells? You'll be able to see with those what sold videos. But let's go ahead and jump right in to what I was able to get. We'll start with some shoes since they're right here. And um, I'll try to tell you like which things were from the first Goodwill, which one was from the second. And then there's also a smattering of stuff in here that my mother-in-law just gave me, stuff that she had laying around her house. Some really good stuff too. So, all right, here we go. The first thing I will show you is a really great menswear shoe brand. This is the brand Allen Edmonds. They are um, a company. Ooh, the lighting is kind of bad. I have like my ring light coming down from up there. So it might be hard to see some of the brands at times, but this is Allen Edmonds. This is a brand um, that makes all of their shoes in the United States. It's typically like you know, career wear pieces. This is just a really great uh, pair of uh, loafers for men. And they usually have the style name on the inside as well. So this is the Walden style and this is in a size 11D. So, you know, I have sold Allen Edmonds for like 50 to a hundred dollars, kind of depending on their style, but also, um, you know, just what kind of shape they're in. These are in amazing shape. Usually, you know, with these kinds of shoes, there's a lot of wear on the front. These hardly have any wear. So I'm excited. I think I can list these definitely on the higher end of comps. Um, this is like a very different kind of shoe. These are so heavy and these also unfortunately smell pretty intensely of smoke so I do have a spray or my husband I should say has a spray that he likes to spray on stuff that has kind of a strong 
aggressive odor, if you will. And I'll show you what that is right here. But um, this is a pair of boots by the brand GBX. I've actually never heard of that, but I decided to try this brand out because one, they just seemed super heavy duty. Um, they were in amazing shape. You can see the treads on the bottom. Like they don't really look like they've been worn that much. Goodwill wanted $9.99 for these. They also wanted $9.99 for these as well, which I was happy to give them given what comps were. Um, and when I looked these up, they appear to be comping around like $50. Some that were in rough shape went for more like around 30 to 35, but I think I should definitely be able to get around 50. They're so heavy, like I can't hold them up for much longer. Um, there is a little bit of wear, like some scuffs and whatnot right there, but other than that, other than the little bit of wear on the front, they're in really great shape. They are in a size eight and a half, I believe, yes made of leather. I don't know. They're in really great shape. So excited to see how those do. I'll probably lift, list these around 50 ish dollars. Let's do some clothes just to kind of get those out of the way. So, all right. I think the majority of the stuff in here is stuff that we got today. Um, they didn't come in these big garbage bags. This is just how we got them home from my mother-in-law's to our house because the Goodwills in that area, they don't give you plastic bags anymore, which I guess is nice. I just didn't know that, so I didn't have any... Um, I didn't even really know we were going to go sourcing, so I didn't have any of my like Ikea bags or Panera catering bags or anything like that. So anyway, this is by the brand City Chic. Focus, please. Okay. Um, this is a brand that I actually learned about from you guys because I got got it in a thread up bulk mixed box. What are they called? I don't know. The hundred pound box of women's stuff. And I was like, oh, this tag looks really cheap. Like I bet it's not worth anything. And you guys were all like, no, it's pretty good. And by pretty good, I think you meant like it's good bread and butter. Like it'll sell pretty fast and consistently. It's not like you can price it up that high. I think I could probably get away with pricing this around like 25 to $35. Um, this is in a size extra large or 22, but it's this really sweet, like smocked top black dress. And the dress has nice little slits at the bottom. So yeah, I was excited to find this just because the first dress that I did get in that thread up box sold really quickly to a viewer. She watched the video and reached out to me and was like, I want that dress. Granted, that dress had a much cuter print on it. This is just pretty plain, but I think a lot of people want like nice basic black dresses in their wardrobe. And I also really like, again, like the smock detail at the top with their little ruffles. Um, I thought that was really sweet. They wanted $7.99 for this, which is a little bit high given the comps that I just shared with you, but I'm hoping that it'll be a quick sale. I also love making sure that I have some plus size pieces in my uh, Poshmark closet, eBay store, all that kind of stuff, because, you know, I want to be as inclusive of all sizes and body types as possible. Plus it was a cute dress. This is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. I know some people are like, ill, like I never pick up that brand, but the brand is Soft Surroundings. I have pretty good luck with this brand and this is in a little bit larger of a size. It's in a size large and it's in a pretty, what I would call classic style. So it's just this like denim sleeveless button up dress. It has pockets, which is always a plus. I think I said this already, but it was in a size large. I did not look up comps or anything, but I'm fairly confident I could get 25 to 35 for this. It was originally $6.99, but it was yellow tag today for the half off sale. So um, I was able to get this for $3.50. And I think that is a great price to pay for a soft surroundings dress, especially, like I said, in a bit little larger of a size. So there's that. Um, my husband found this. I thought it was cool. It was half off. So it, I don't know how to say it. Favernugen? Favernugen. My husband said it's like a car. Um, it's a Volkswagen. But, you know, it's just kind of a cool pullover raglan sleeve sweatshirt. It's in a size, what size are you? Medium. I don't know. So we paid three fifty for it. I'm hoping I can get like 18 to 25 it's just more a cool shirt. There are a few things in here that are like, they weren't necessities. I didn't have to get them, but I just got them because I couldn't leave them behind. That's like the number one rule. Like don't thrift emotionally, you know, don't pick up things because you're like, oh, like you should really check comps and make sure you're going to make money on the piece. But there are some things that tug at my heartstrings just a little too much. And you're going to see some of those. This was a 
not was, is. This is a piece by Eliza J, which to be honest, sometimes takes a while to move for me, but I picked this up for a few reasons. One, it's a bigger size. It's a size 18W. They wanted $13 for it, but I was fine with that because two, it was new with tags. Is, it is new with tags. I don't know why you keep talking about it in the past tense. Um, this is from Nordstrom. All of like the pricing and all that stuff has been ripped out, which is fine. And three, I don't know. I just thought it was a really cool piece. So at the top, it's got this lacy bodice and it's got kind of the scallop detail at the neckline um lace sleeves again with the scallop hem right there really really pretty but it is a jumpsuit which i know like for whatever reason sometimes have a hard time moving but i feel like this would be so great for like a wedding um, it's great for the colder months that we're still in. It has pockets. It has some pleating where the, you know, front is, I don't know. I just, I thought this was really, really nice. And I think I should be able to price it around like at least $75, especially because of the fact that it's new. We'll see. But I thought that was a really cool piece. Oh, this is like one of my favorite pieces. So I think I shared this in the thrift with me portion, but we got there on a Sunday right when it opened at like we got there at like 9.05. I mean, it opened at 9 o'clock, but there were still a ton of racks that they had clearly just rolled out with new inventory that they were getting ready to put away. And I'm talking like at least 10 racks filled to the brim with stuff that they were getting ready to put out on the floor. So I, of course, just looked through those racks first because that means it was stuff that no one has gone through yet. Of course, I'm not going to get like half off because it's like the new tag, but I figured there'd be some really good stuff in there. And there was because basically my first find of the day when I was like, this is going to be a pretty good trip was this Patagonia piece. It is not like one of their better sweaters, but it's like a quarter zip pullover. I feel like there's some wool in here. I'm going to check here in a little bit, but there is the logo. Let's see what the content is. It is in a men's size large and this is... Okay, there's no wool. It's polyester. Oh, it, yes, there is recycled wool and other fiber. So, yeah, I mean, it's a really, really great piece. Patagonia pullovers like this can always go for a decent amount. At least, I would think, $50 for this one. And it's in really great shape. So, I was so excited. And when this was literally my first find of the day, I was like, whew, the thrift gods are with us. This is not something that I found on the new racks, but oh my gosh, I thought it was so cool. This baby is made of 100% silk. It has lions and elephants and giraffes. I mean, it's basically this crazy safari print. It is by the brand EVR DIY Rouso Apparel Group. I've never seen this. I'm fairly confident that it is vintage, but when I looked it up, comps were not bad. Like they were in like the 50 ish dollar range. And again, because this is a hundred percent silk, I mean, it is so cool. So it's like a full zip jacket, super lightweight. Um, obviously it's lined. It is just so cool. So I'm going to list this high. I'm going to list it for at least 50, if not, maybe like even $75 because I, there aren't very many like it. It's got a really cool zipper too, if you can see that. I don't know, everything about this is just amazing. I was so excited to find that. And let's see, how much did I pay for this? I paid $7 for that, happily. I happily paid $7, okay. This one, I kept going back and forth, but I ended up getting it. So there were a couple reasons why I was like, mm, I don't know if I should. But the brand is Diane von Furstenberg, and this is a great brand. I know a lot of people say they have a really hard time moving it. Personally, it actually moves pretty well for me. They had originally wanted $12.99 for this, but because it's yellow tag, I got it for half off. So I got it for $6.50, and it is one of her classic wrap dresses. Um, that's what Diane von Furstenberg is known for most. That's kind of her claim to fame and you know what she became famous for was this wrap style dress which this exactly is and you can see kind of how that would work. This kind of like goes into a little slit that's it. Whatever. You've probably seen this before but um, I don't know. These can generally... Uh... There's a hole. Do you see it? Well the value just went down a bit. Let me see if you can even see it. 
it's right here which I did not see even though we sorted by like the windows and stuff is that the only hole I think it is okay well there's a hole but it is in otherwise <laughs> really great condition it is really hard to see I think because of like the darker color and stuff um, well, maybe I can get like $35 for it. We'll see what happens. So there's that. And there was no size tag. I think someone ripped that out. So I have to do measurements and stuff. It'll be really easy to do measurements on that, but still kind of annoying. All right. Next step. What do we have here? Okay. So this is one of the things like if I find anything Harry Potter related, you know, I'm going to get it. So this is a hoodie. It has the Hogwarts crest on the front with all four houses represent, and it's in really great shape. It's got like the kangaroo pocket. They wanted $7 for it. It is in a size large for men. I will probably just go ahead and list it because I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. I'm not a size large and I don't need this in my life, but someone else does and I have it for them in my Poshmark closet or I will because I don't have it listed yet. Um, this I thought was just a really cool classic piece. It is by Champion. It's just like a pullover little windbreaker jacket. Um, it's got the drawstring at the bottom. It's got the logo at the top. It's got the half zip and it's got this little flap with a little hidden zipper down there as well with a pocket. Um, this is what the back looks like. I don't know how much I can get for this. It was listed for $6.99 and it's a size medium. I'm assuming at least 25, if not like 35 ish dollars. And I'm thinking that that's going to move pretty fast. It's just such a classic piece. Um, this is Eileen Fisher. It's definitely old Eileen Fisher, but it's a size large. They wanted $6 for it. It's kind of this like open knit boat neck sweater and it's got this asymmetrical hem. I, I don't imagine getting more than like $25, $35 for this, but I, I think it'll move pretty quick. Um, it's a nice neutral piece and people love their Eileen Fisher. Let's see what this is made out of. I'm fairly certain uh, the the materials tag was cut out, but this was on one of those newer racks as well. So I found this kind of at the beginning of our thrifting time today. Um, this brand I've only ever found once before, never at a thrift store. I've only found it at a consignment store. I know it's not as popular as it used to be. It used to be like everyone would freak out about it, but it's Equipment Femme. This is the size medium and it's kind of this like crazy animal print. What, what, what is this? Like a tiger? I don't even know. Um, so it's a little intense, but I thought I'd give it a shot. They wanted... $5.99 for it. I can probably list it for at least $35 if not more. These are usually made of 100% silk and this is no exception, 100% silk. So we'll see how that does. So crazy. This is a crazy print, I will admit. It's a little loud, but there is someone who can pull this off and is going to rock it and I will have that waiting for them in my Poshmark closet. Okay, this is a brand that I was so excited to find because I've never found it before. The brand is Norma Kamali. This is in a size medium. This brand is sold, they have like um, a line through Revolve, but also like on Shopbop, also at Saks Fifth, Nordstrom, like just all the high-end designer, uh, high-end what are they called? Department stores. That's what I was going to say. Um, it's this long sleeve dress with this really great print to it. This was not on like a new rack or anything. It's been in their store for a little bit of time and no one picked it up. Um, it was $6.99 at the store. It's in perfect condition. It's gorgeous and it is mine now. I'm so excited. I don't know exactly how much I can list this for. I was looking up comps on Poshmark, and to be honest, they're kind of all over the place, but I am going to try to list this one a little bit higher, maybe at least at the $75 mark, and just see how that does. I was so excited about this. My husband found this. Um, we had gone to the downtown Naperville area the night before, and actually that was where we went thrifting the first day was in Naperville. We went to the Goodwill there. But while we were in downtown Naperville, we happened to walk past their Filson store. They have a brick and mortar Filson store, which if you don't know Filson, it is a great menswear brand. The aesthetic is very kind of like, it's very like plain. 
it's not, you know, there's not a lot of bells and whistles to it. It's a little bit more like Western, if anything, lots of like plaids and, um, kind of like your everyday work shirts and stuff. They do a lot of like Henleys and that sort of thing. A lot of like button ups with the pearl snaps. So I was like, did you know that this is a really expensive brand? And he's like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, you know, we were just walking by looking at the window displays and he was like, okay. And then when he came to me today with his cart full of goodies, asking me to look through his cart the way that I typically do, he was like, is this that brand? Why, yes it is. Yes, it is, Mikey. It is this really plain white Henley top, but I can probably get away with listing it for like $50, and it will probably sell really fast because there's not a lot of Filson listed online. I got my first and only other Filson piece in a men's thread up rescue box a long time ago when they used to be really good for me. <laughs> and I remember people leaving comments in that video because when I pulled it out, I had no idea what it was. I was just like, oh, I don't know if this is any good or not. And people were like, I gasped out loud when you pulled out that Filson piece. Um, and so now I know. This is in a size extra large, which is also great because it's a great size. And it was yellow tag. So they had originally wanted $5.99 for it. I got it for three. Insane. And my husband, who's like really good at examining things, he was like, I mean, it looks to be in great condition. There doesn't seem to be any stains or anything. I'm looking at it again right now. I don't see anything. So again, if you see this brand, Filson, make sure that you pick it up because it is a great menswear brand and you will make good money off that piece even if it's something as simple as this. Ooh, I was so excited about that. Okay, this is a dress by the brand Eloquy. Um, Eloquy is a great plus wear line. This is in a size 28. I, you know, my luck with Eloquy is mixed. Like some things do really well and some things I just kind of sit on, but I thought this was really pretty. It's like this white dress and it's got all these embroidered, fl embroidered flowers on the front. I thought that was really, really pretty. It's got, um, yeah, like, yeah, an elastic waist. Like, it looks elastic, and I'm just, like, double-checking. It's not, like, super stretchy, but it does have an elastic waist. And then more of that floral embroidery along the hem. So I just thought this was really pretty. It's also really comfortable with the elastic waist. Um, it's just a pullover dress, no, like, zipper or anything. So we're going to give that a whirl and see how it does. I probably will list this for around $35, I want to say. And they had originally wanted $7.99 for it. Um, there was a woman when I was looking in the dress section who was literally pulling like every other dress that she saw <laughs> and throwing it in her cart. And in my head, I was like, oh man, I hope you're not a reseller because there's a lot of stuff in there that like, mm, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what she does with all that stuff. I won't see because I don't know who she was. But okay, this is another Harry Potter piece. This is a men's piece. It's a size extra, extra large. And it is basically this like chambray button up shirt, short sleeve with like the little H, a little Gryffindor, like all of the little um, mascots for the houses as the print. It's really cute. I really like it. I mean, I probably paid too much for it. We paid $7 for this, and it'll probably only move for, like, at the very most, like, $25, which is, that's the very most that it would sell for. I could not leave it behind. I can't leave behind Harry Potter. So, okay, that was a bad throw. The last thing in this bag, and then let's do some more shoes, was this piece with no brand, although I feel like... I feel like this tag is very Talbots-ish, so I'm almost certain that this is Talbots, but it is this sweater, and it is 100% cashmere, which is why I got it. Again, with kind of a crazy animal print. It's got three-fourth sleeves. It's very lightweight, though, because it is cashmere, and I believe this was on one of the new racks. It doesn't have a size either. That was ripped out as well, but all I have to do is measure it, um, I can check the RN number to see if this is in detail, but or not, but I'm fairly certain that it is. And hopefully because it's hundred percent cashmere and because it's in really great shape, I should be able to get at least 35 to $50 for that one. Excited. All right, let me pull some shoes over this way. 
and then we'll finish out with the other two bags of clothes that I see in front of me. Um, this I got at the Goodwill today, and it is a pair of ankle boots in this really beautiful like navy color with the stacked heel. The brand is Bowden. Let's see if I can show you. Um, it says it on the inside as well, but it's Bowden, which is an English brand. They do a lot of clothing, um, and they do kids clothing as well. The mini Bowden line. These are in a size 40. I haven't seen too many of their shoes. I did get a pair when I bought out my friend's inventory and those didn't sell for that much. I think mainly because they were a little bit older of a style and they were like a slip on loafer, but these are very like just, you know, what people are wearing these days. I feel like the leather is really soft. They're really, really nice. And I love this accent on the back with the zipper with this yellow. I think that's gorgeous. And so these I'm hoping I can price for at least $40 to $50. We'll see. But I thought they were just beautiful. So there's those. I got another pair of Allen Edmonds the first day when we were in Naperville. Can you see it? Again, the lighting is kind of crazy. And these are the Halstead shoes they only wanted five dollars for these at this goodwill like they did not know what they had on them now to be fair they were really dusty like you could tell these had just sat in someone's garage um they probably didn't have to go to work anymore because of covid and you know quarantine and being able to work remote or something and they probably were like i just don't need these there are some like water spots on the top but i think those will be really easy to clean off and other than that again these are in amazing amazing condition like they're just they're in great condition so super excited about that these are also a size 11d which is really funny because they came from two different goodwills but there you go probably list those close to a hundred dollars very excited my husband found these and they're just really cute little new balance shoes um these are in a size 11 honestly i think we're going to save these for levi we were looking for shoes for him and they just didn't have anything in his size um but he just has to learn how to tie his shoelaces before then otherwise these will be so annoying and they didn't have a price on them so when i brought them up to the register i was like hey i'm so sorry can i get a price check on these because there was no tag and she was like you can just to have them because she saw that I was buying so much stuff and I was like are you sure and she was like just... <laughs> I'm like okay so basically these were free yippee free is always great um I probably paid too much for these but they're a pair of crocs I think that they'll sell really really quickly they're in amazing condition basically new like there's nowhere you know these can get really gross really fast um they wanted five dollars for these I was happy to pay it um, I'll probably sell these around that $20 mark and sell them really, really fast. These are in a size... What size are you? Why don't you... Oh, size 9. So there you go. Size 9 on those. I'll probably list them for $25, but, you know, realistically accept an offer um, around that $20 mark. Okay. These I saw and I was like, holy cow, those are amazing. Those are amazing. And they are amazing. The brand is John Joseph. I was looking these up online and I mean, they retail for a ton. I can't remember exactly how much, but a ton. Um, they were made in Spain. I don't remember if I saw any comps exactly for these, um, but I kind of want to start sending things into the real real. I've been watching a lot of videos by like Jack from Jack Valentine and Daniela. I will put both of their channels down in the description below. And then I saw a post that Denali from El Ducho had put on Instagram about how she basically made six figures in the year 2021 just selling stuff to the real real. Like, holy cow. So I kind of want to give it a shot. I don't find too many high end pieces because the real real really is just like luxury and designer. But when I do find you know, higher end pieces. I have a hard time selling it myself on places like Poshmark and eBay. So I figure, um, I'll just send those things into the real, real and see how I do. There is the tiniest of flaws. And that is just, if you can see it at the toe on this one, the fabric upper is a little like, do you see that? But it's so minor. I'm hoping that that's okay. Because other than that, not only is there nothing wrong with them, I don't think that they've been worn. Like, there's no wear. The annoying thing is there is 
you know, someone wrote in marker on the bottom. I paid $14.99 for these. These are amazing. They're in a size, I don't know. It, there's just like a bunch of numbers. It says like 2404.9. Maybe they're nine. They are nine. <laughs> they're size 9B. They are just so cool. So very, very excited about that. Okay, now that I'm looking a little bit more carefully, there's like some yellow stuff right here. Hold up, hold up. There's some yellow gunk. Do you see it? It's like right there. So I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna have to figure that out um, and see if I can't gently scrape it off or maybe even like stain treat it because this is basically fabric. But the hound's tooth print, like everything about this is just the coolest. Very excited about that. If you sell on the real reel, let me know how the process of consigning with them has been for you. Um, this is a pair of men's shoes and the brand is literally just Clark's. Um, these they won in $9.99 for. And when I looked up comps, they were actually really good. Like new ones were selling for over $50. And there were, this one also smells really strongly of smoke. Um, but there were also used ones that had sold for around $50. Um, some obviously a little bit less, but I'm going to see if I can get away with listing these for $50 because again, these are in really, really amazing condition as well. Um, my husband found these and these are in a size nine and a half. So we'll see how these do. I don't typically like go out of my way to pick up Clark's, but I know that they're just like a very, uh, trusted brand, you know, this is, um, the last pair of shoes that we got thrifting. I believe there might be more, but I think this is it. Um, this is Grand OS Cole Haan. The Grand OS line is a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit more sought after and you can get a little bit more money for it typically. And they're just these really great kind of, I mean, I guess you would just call them lace up Oxfords. <laughs> Again, really heavy. Um, in this really great brown leather, they're in amazing shape. There's a little bit of like, I don't know what's going on there at the toe. Do you see that? Like maybe like a box had been sitting on top of the toes right there. Other than that though, they're in really great shape. Tiny bit of wear on the back from when you could tell they like, I do this too. Like I use one foot to like scrape the shoe off my foot basically, which is horrible for the back of the shoe. But um, yeah, these are in a size 11 and a half. They're just great. Hoping I can list these for at least $50, if not more. And they had wanted $10 for these. All right. Um, these my mother-in-law just gave me. And she got these for free from a friend of hers. Like, I think her friend gifted these to her. But she's like, these are just not my style at all. And they really are not. <laughs> like, I cannot see her wearing these. Um, the brand is Capelli. And these are the boots. They're... They're very interesting. They're not actually studded, but it's like embedded into the patent leather, if you will. Um, but they're cool boots. They're in a size eight. They're just like a great rain boot type situation. I've never tried selling Capelli, so I don't know anything about this brand. And I don't see like a price or anything on here. I think she's set, oh, they're from Marshalls. So they were $24.99 compared to $40, so that's not that much. So I'm hoping I can sell them for at least $25, but you know, I didn't pay anything for that, so I, I can do that. I can sell something for $25 and get pure profit from it. So there are those. Um, let's get into some more clothes. So I think a lot of the stuff in here is stuff that I got the first day in Naperville. And there's going to be some kid stuff. I'll just get through that stuff real quickly because most of it is for my daughter. Uh, most of her clothes honestly comes from like thrift stores, the bins, because that's just how we shop these days. So I have never found a bra from this brand before. And I honestly don't look at bras anymore. I've just gotten burned by them too many times. But I've heard a lot of people talk about uh, bras from this company and or from this brand. The brand is Kasik which I believe is Lane Bryant's Intimates line. I want to say, I could be totally wrong. But these are in a size 40 triple D. They are the lightly lined no wire. And I don't know, I heard that they can do pretty well. This was on 
the rack of stuff that was like brand new waiting to be um, you know put out on the floor today they wanted $4.99 for these again I probably paid a little bit too much but I just wanted to see like how this brand does how their bras do um, and they were in this was in really good shape so yeah I just thought I'd see how that does probably list up for like 18 to 25 dollars if you have some experience with that brand let me know so here's some of my daughter's stuff this is just like a little t-shirt with the cold shoulder so cute always be magical that's from justice um okay these my daughter found so while i was in one section i sent her and my husband to look through the jeans for me and they found some good stuff so this is by the brand big star these are the live jeans that's the style um i do think there's a few flaws on here and they wanted seven dollars for these I think I could hopefully still pull like $35 out of them. So the flaws are, I don't think that this is a manufactured hole. I think that's just from like wear. So obviously I have to disclose that, but this is like a boot cut jean and there is some, you know, heel drag here as you can see. And then the back big star is known for, you know, pretty embellished pockets and they have like the back flap, but you can see right here, there's kind of the beginnings of a hole again just from frequent wear so because of all of those things I cannot get as much for this as I typically would be able to but hopefully I can still pull like I said at least $35 out of that maybe more like 30 this is for my daughter this is just a what is this a romper a dress it's a dress the brain is just love fire she really really wanted some dresses which I was kind of surprised by okay this piece i was shocked to find just shocked so the brand yeah is emmanuel ungaro i don't know if i'm saying that right this is a brand that sold on like the real real it's yeah it's crazy so this is made of 100 percent wool it's in a size six it says emmanuel ungaro Paris plus this other word that I don't know what that is made in Italy they wanted $7.99 for this so it's a crazy piece like look at this it's basically like a blazer with like a bolero blazer over it but either I mean there's something very chic about it this is going straight to the real real because I'm not gonna be able to get the price for this that it deserves I feel like and also I just don't know that I have the audience on a place like Poshmark for this. Now there is one flaw and that is this button is missing. And so I'm hoping that they will just deal with that at the real world. They probably won't. That probably means I have to list this on my own. I did not know that that button was missing. So that is unfortunate. Let's see. Sometimes they put those extra buttons on the inside, but I don't think what's going to happen with this piece. I'm still going to try sending it and just see what happens. Um, there are like shoulder pads built in. I mean, it's just such a cool piece. And again, my first time finding this brand and I'm still shocked that I did. So very, very cool piece. Excited to see what I can do with that. This my husband found today. Um, it's another Eileen Fisher piece, although this is a little bit newer. This isn't a size large and they're literally just like pull on pants and what are they made out of? Yes, that's what I thought. They're made of a hundred percent silk, which is honestly kind of bizarre, I think for pants, but they're like these black, super drapey, like amazing pockets. I honestly would almost call this log and look cause it has kind of that like layered look to it. I, I don't know how much I could get for something like these because of the fact that they are 100% silk. I'm going to have to do some research. I would, I mean, I would assume at a minimum $50, but I think I could get even more. They're just so cool. And they were in like the workout section. <laughs> I was looking for, you know, like Lululemon or something. And instead I found Eileen Fisher, but not mad about it. 100% silk. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, this, I believe, yes, this is the other pair of pants or jeans that my daughter found and she was so excited to show me. They are pretty cool, even though I don't wear this brand, but I mean, for this brand, I get it. Um, so the brand is Miss Me. Um, you probably 
are familiar with this brand from seeing it priced for like $60 at your local Plato's closet. But um, these are the signature bootcut jeans in a size 27. Look at the back. This is what they're known for is their embellished backs. And this is actually really beautiful. So it's like embroidered flowers and there's the little rhinestones and whatnot as always. There's the back flap pocket. These are most definitely a low rise, which honestly like the Miss Me clientele, that's kind of their jam anyway. Um, like I said, in a boot cut. And these are in really great shape, like a tiny bit of heel drag, but nothing that's gonna like get in the way of me making the sale. Um, I'm gonna list these high. I mean, maybe like 50, $65. The back is really cute. The, the um, embroidery on there is fantastic. And so my daughter was really excited. She's like, but they're kind of expensive because they were priced at $15. But I think, yeah, I think the return on these will still be really great. So excited about those, which is a weird sentence to say, to be excited about Miss Me. Um, I got this in Naperville. This is, by the way, Naperville is just like kind of a nicer suburb in Chicago. So I keep talking about it as if you'll just know what that is. You wouldn't know unless you were from the area. But this is cloth and stone, which used to do really, really well. It still sells really fast for me. It just doesn't sell for a ton. So this is in a size small. It's just this like plaid flannel top. It's got the like raw hem at the bottom here. And yeah, I mean, I can probably list it for like 25 to $35. Um, they wanted $6 for it, which I was happy to give them. Oh, I thought it was missing a button for a second, but it is not. So there is that piece, just a nice casual top. This is another pair of jeans that my husband found. This is the brand Hudson, which to be honest with you, does not move for a ton for me or like it moves, but it sits for a while, but we're just going to try it again. So this is the Natalie super skinny in a size 29. I think it's probably more of like a mid rise. So that is not helping the cause <laughs> probably list these for around 35 and see what happens. They are in like a darker wash and they wanted $7 for these. So we'll see how those do. Yeah, I mean, denim for me has kind of been picking up lately, but you know, just like probably what you've been experiencing, it's been mainly like the high rise jeans, um, kind of like the mom jeans or something a little bit more baggy, but yeah, we'll see what happens. This, I just, it screams Depop to me. I still have yet to make a sale over there, even though I've been listing pretty consistently. Um, but this screams Depop. So this says US Polo ASSN. Um, it's in a size medium. So it's got a lot of things that you're looking for with, you know, these kinds of brands. It's got like the spell out. It's got like a nice big patch. It's got a nice bold stripe. It's very just super preppy and in your face. I mean, what more can you ask for? So we'll see how this does. Um, I don't know how to price it yet. I have not done any research and I did not look up any comps because I am an irresponsible reseller. I would think at least 35 though. This I have actually sold before already. And yet you knew I was going to come in with some Talbots at least for this haul. Um, it's in a size four. It was half off. So originally it was marked at $6.99. I got it for $3.50 and it is this linen blend blazer in like this Madras plaid. Yeah. I mean, I've sold it before. I can't remember how much I sold it for. I want to say at least $25, but I think it was higher. I feel like I sold it for around 35. Yeah. It's a linen cotton blend. I think the one that I had before was in a slightly bigger size, but still, I think it'll, I think it'll sell. And it's got these really sweet, like little ruffles on the sleeve hem. Cute, cute, cute. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I'm looking for when I am picking up Talbots. I actually passed on a lot, and you probably saw that in the Thrift With Me portion. There was a lot that, like, I would have picked up if they, if it was just priced different. But, you know, I think that that was priced perfectly. This is something that my husband found literally as I was waiting in the checkout line today at Goodwill, you know, where his parents live. By the way, at today's Goodwill, I ran into a viewer of the channel. She was like, do you have a YouTube channel by any chance? And I was like, yes. Yeah. So that was so cool. If you guys ever see me out and about, which 
probably you won't because normally I'm just in my little college town area. But if you ever see me, please say hi. I love meeting you guys. So Iris, if you're watching, thank you so much for saying hi. That was such a treat. Um, so I was talking to her and my husband was like looking more in the women's jeans section. And he was like, you like this brand, right? And I was like, yep. So this is Judy Blue. This is a size 15 or 32. Judy Blue sells so fast for me. Like literally usually at like literally within the week, if not within a couple days. Um, this is just a nice pair of like skinny jeans. It's definitely got a high rise and it's in a bigger size. So super excited about this. Um, I can get at least $35 for this, but I have sold Judy Blue for as high as 50 or even $60 for like the newer stuff. So there is that. Okay, I'm just gonna put the Eileen Fisher silk pants in a separate pile so as to not wrinkle them. Um, I don't really pick up free people jeans anymore because they just don't move very quickly or for very much for me. But these I had to get. These are in a size 26 and they're like this coated denim. Like they almost look leather, but they're not. But I don't know. I just really like the look to them. They've got kind of this like moto detail. I thought they were really, really cool. I think these are more of like a mid rise. They're not a high rise or anything, but I just I had to have them. These were $6.99. They were on one of the new racks at the Goodwill today, which is how I found them. What are you? Oh, okay. So my husband found this. He did so good. It's Burberry. Now, there are a couple flaws on here. So it's Burberry London size extra large, and it is a men's extra large. So it's like a men's quarter zip pullover. Um... And really, like, the, what is this called again? They're, like, special plaid. I, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Um, it's only on the inside right here. And then if you were to leave this open, you could casually show it, you know, kind of, like, on your collar. Now, there are a few, like, discolorations, just some, like, spots, um, almost, like, bleach marks and stuff. And I think it'll be really hard to see in this light. But if you look. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But there's basically like a much lighter spot here. It's almost like maybe there was a stain and someone tried to stain treat it, but they left the stain treatment on for too long and it just kind of made that part lighter. I'm still going to list it. I'm just going to go ahead and disclose the flaws, disclose the discoloration, and um, I think it'll still sell though because it is really hard to see. It's towards the bottom. Yeah. So we'll see how that does. I have no idea how to price it with the flaws, but um, I think I'll do okay. This, oh my gosh, this is for my daughter. Isn't it so cute? It's like a little romper. Look at that, like with the little like ribbed, oh my gosh, I cannot. The brand is US Boys for Girls or Us Boys for Girls. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> it's made in the USA. I feel like it's vintage. I don't know, but she and I both were like, this is so cute. So. Very excited about that. This is like a whatever piece. This is just epic threads. I think that's like Macy's or something, but she likes rainbows. So there you go on that one. All right, we are on our last bag. And actually, no, we have one more bag over there. Let me start with this other bag. So like I had told you, my mother-in-law gave me some stuff to resell. And some of it is like great. Some of it is like, oh, okay. Um, this one... The brand is, I cannot read what it says. I don't know what it says, but I'm pretty sure it's like a vintage piece. She said that um, my father-in-law used to love wearing it, but it's a little small on him now, but it's basically this like suede full zip. I don't know. I think you could call it like a bomber jacket. And it's got this really great like faux fur lining on the inside, which is still really soft. They take really good care of their clothes and the vest like lining it zips out in case you don't want it um i just don't know what the brand is and there's no like okay it's a size 42 but i don't know if you know anything about this let me know but it's a really cool piece and i do feel like i feel like i should be able to get like at least 50 bucks for it so excited about that um sad he doesn't wear it anymore Okay, this she actually took from me. <laughs> I think I got this when I did like my big consignment sale 
bulk buy because they basically let me buy like bags and bags of stuff and everything came out to like 80 cents a piece. This being one of them, I don't typically pick up Ann Taylor. It just doesn't move very well for me, but I did get this because of the puffed sleeves. I thought that was really, really sweet. Size small. So she had taken it from me to wear and then she was like, I never wear it. So you can just have it back and you can sell it like you originally intended. And I was like, okay. She gave me this pair of gloves. Um, the brand is Nina Ricci and let's see if that'll, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, I think they're new with tags. Cause there's like a little, oh my gosh. So they are like these beautiful leather gloves and there's like, very faint like flower details do you see that like little leather flower details and like this burgundy contrast stripe they're actually gorgeous obviously made of real leather nina ricci paris oh my gosh these might actually be worth a lot she just doesn't wear them obviously because they're new and they still have the little plastic thing combining the two geez okay that's a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be. And then she said that her friend gave her these. She has friends just giving her stuff all the time. Like, just giving her gifts of new clothes and stuff like that. These are just J. Crew Factory. And you know that they're factory because of the two dots below where it says J. Crew. Um, they originally were $79.50. Um, this person got it on sale for $44.97, it looks like. And it's this black v-neck sweater. It does have this, like button detail down here on the side but this is made of a linen blend which is what makes it you know a little bit better than just like a normal everyday sweater and then there's an identical one in this beige color so i will go ahead and list those hopefully someone just wants both of them and bundles them together and then this is at first i got so excited because they thought it said coach but it says like coco or something i don't know new york um it is duck down filled so i mean it's like a good vest but it's not coach <laughs> it's full zip and it's in like a i would call it gray and it's in a size medium she said she really liked it it was just too warm like she would just get too hot in it um it does have zippers on the front or sorry zippered pockets on the front that you could just store like money or whatever in yeah i definitely need to get this listed quickly because tis the season for such things all right so she also gave me two burberry and they're like vintage burberry two burberry trench coats dirt 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 dir. it's just like the classic burberry trench coat um, I don't know how much to list this for. And to be honest, this might be one of the pieces that I send into the real reel. Um, and maybe what I'll do is list one. Sorry, this is like so big and awkward for me to haul. Maybe what I'll do is list one and send the second one <laughs> into the real reel. I, I don't know why she just has two of these like in her closet at home. She said that her sister-in-law gave it to her as a gift and I don't think that she wore them very often or again if she did, her and my father-in-law just took really good care of their clothes. So it's in amazing condition. Like I don't see any flaws, even like the belt buckle which is made of like a leather, there's no wear to it. I mean, they're in amazing condition so... <laughs> excited to see how those do i just cannot find um, a size tag um almost as exciting as that is this here blanket <laughs> i just got this for my kids because they both love rainbows and it's so soft the uh they wanted 5.99 for this at goodwill this was on one of their newer racks that needs to get washed straight away though because lord knows where that's been my husband found these as well while I was checking out today. Another pair of Judy Blue, clearly from the same person because this is also in a size 15 by 32. These have a button fly, which is great. And they are distressed. They've got a raw hem. These are going to do so well. These are going to sell so fast, probably right at that like $40 to $50 mark. 
super duper excited about that high rise just has so much going for it so that was a great little find at the very end by him today this he also found while i was just like waiting in the line this is the brand peter millar which is like he's really well known for his golf stuff i've never tried his jeans before these were marked at 6.99 though so i just thought i'd try them they're like a men's size 34 i yeah i mean it says 34 which yeah i think that means it's men's because they don't look like women's at all but they were kind of short for a 34 i'm gonna you know why because they were hemmed they were definitely hemmed by someone who was like these pants are too long for me so i'm gonna have to note that and make sure that i put that in the description i did think that there was just something that seemed a little bit off about them oh well that's okay i think they'll still sell and then my husband found these as well in the men's section he found this page pair of jeans in a size 38 for men this is in a lighter wash he found a couple pairs of page jeans but page denim there is something about it and it just puckers at the crotch so quickly um i don't know it's almost like they're just not a very well-made jean at all um but yeah lower i mean sorry uh lighter wash no puckering on this one yet but you know page is one of those jeans where like you could get it home and once you're home they start to pucker it's just crazy these are in the lennox style lennox lennox i don't know so this is what they look like um i have sold page jeans for men for anywhere between 35 and 50 dollars like it's one of those things where it'll sit for a while and then like a guest user on poshmark will come and just buy them at my full asking price for like 50 dollars. so i don't usually pick it up for women because it's kind of a hard sell but for men uh, I will get it. This is another men's denim brand that I love to sell. It's Adriano Goldschmidt. I like to sell it for women too, but I feel like it sells faster for men. This is the Protégé, which is a straight leg jean, and these are in a size 33 by 34. The back like tag is a little bit messed up. As you can see, like there's just the the amount of times that this has been washed has in a number to it, which I feel like is what happens when you have jeans with that like leather tag on the back but you know what are you gonna do so this is what they look like again with adriano goldschmidt same thing i typically price them between like 35 and 50 dollars for men they usually sell more closer obviously to that like 35 dollar mark but i have been surprised with jeans sometimes selling for 50 dollars for me so you never know adriano goldschmidt is so expensive retail oh but you know what these have also been hemmed why did i not look more carefully and like kind of a hack job like not hemmed very well Ooh, so i'm gonna have to disclose that hopefully though i'm just gonna appeal to people who need shorter hems anyway so here it says size 33 by 34 so i'm gonna have to make sure to in the listing title put 33 by whatever the inseam is and then i will also need to make sure that i take pictures of that i note it in the description and just cover all of my bases and that way um the person knows exactly what it is that they're buying and i don't get a return request or a case opened on me so if you enjoy thrift hauls like this i do have an entire playlist of them here that you can binge watch because it is kind of fun seeing what people pick up at thrift stores so make sure that you check that out if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you are brand new to my channel and if you're brand new welcome hey thanks for stopping by so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye